Ladies and gentlemen, I am quitting. It's official. Or is it? Stick, stay tuned for the video. Marvelous morning mugs. Welcome to a very ad hoc video. I kind of realized, oh wait, sugar, isn't my channel one year, seven years old today? Which it is. Today's date is the 13th of October. Uh, it's actually Friday the 13th. And funnily enough, whenever I created my channel, um, it was also Friday the 13th, so life has come full circle, the cycles of life and the cycles of years have come all the way around for us to be in this exact position of Friday the 13th. A very blessed day, Mad. I, um, yeah, I was very, very much um, shocked and surprised that it was actually today. Um, life has been going too fast recently and I kind of forgot. So this is a very quick ad hoc video. I say quick and it'll be about 40 minutes long. But stay tuned for the uh, for the render for the render of the video. Yeah, stay tuned for the render of the video. But essentially, if you're a very um, avid Harris T3 subscriber uh, fan, actually no, sorry, if you're a very avid Journal Harris subscriber and fan, you'll realize that I do these videos once every year, uh, and they're more or less a video um, or a message to my future self. Um, so every year I'll look back on last year. And I'll reflect on all the things that have happened. To be honest, I don't really have time to do that now because I'm kind of busy, but you know. Um, but I kind of wanted to talk about um, what I think about the channel, and I'm sure most people know already how I think about um, the state and the current state of the channel right now. Now, of course, I'm doing amazing videos, uh, videos which have meaning, um, videos which have a purpose, and videos which have enabled me, may I add, to travel to amazing places, to learn life lessons which not many people get the opportunity to experience at my age. Um, and to that, I'm very, very much um, in debt to God and his planning because at the end of the day, you know, I'm I'm the worst person to travel. I, like, bro, I'm pretty sure last year or two years ago, I had no idea. How to, I've never, I'd never seen the inside of a flipping train before. So I've no idea how. I'm not a good speaker. I'm not a good orator. I'm terrible at navigation. I'm terrible at all these different things. But somehow God has gone. You know what, Harris? I'm got a mission for you. I'm gonna make you go here, 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 and you'll do most of it on your own. So yeah, it's kind of crazy when I look back. I think, wait, did I really, did I really do that? And um, yeah, it was all from the um, the guidance of God, of course. Um, without Him, I, I would just be, um, yeah, I had no idea what I'd be using my time for. So it's a good use of time. Um, but unfortunately, as many people know, uh, what um, many people realize that uh, the channel hasn't actually shut off, even though I've been uploading really good documentaries. I'm not biased at all. Um, but I've been putting a lot of effort into the videos. It's there's a, an actual underlining tone and an underlining message behind each video now. There's it's not just. Um, I remember a couple of years ago. I think I've been doing documentaries for about two, three years now, and before that, I was just doing stupid, random, crazy gaming videos. And I guess people that have followed me since the early days have, in a way, watched me grow up. Have watched me mature, or if you can call me mature. <laughs> And have seen me evolve through the different um, phases in my life and the different interests and um, hobbies I have in my life. And now I feel like this is the culmination of it all, the documentaries. Um, and like I said, these making these documentaries, essentially I'm making them for YouTube. But at the end of the day, you know, I always say this, but if nothing comes out of these videos, if nothing comes out of these documentaries... At least at the end of the day, I've come home with a suitcase full of memories, a suitcase full of experiences that I will carry with me, hopefully, if God wills, to the end of my life and stories that I can tell people, lessons that I can share with you. That is my whole aim of this year. It's not to make videos so I can get views and I can monetize. After all, all the monetization on the video goes to charity. That's all because of you guys watching the videos and the members on the channel, by the way, Shane, absolute legend. He's also hit 3K subscribers, so go go give him some some support um but i do it because i want to share with you this the same feelings and the same experiences i had in the countries that i went to um and for me i have seen things which have scarred me i've seen things which have deeply upsetted me and things which i will once again carry till the end of my life but i've also seen acts of kindness, I've also seen the warmth of people, I've also seen the resilience of people. I've experienced firsthand and I've also learnt and studied about the different histories and the different peoples that have inhabited the particular country that I've been to. So for example, Iraq. Those people have been through constant war since the 1980s. That is 40 years of constant war. And even if you look at before the 1980s, there was revolutions, there was coups, there were civil wars. 
So that country hasn't seen stability in almost half a century, if not more. They've been through the... the I don't want to give you a history lesson, but they've been through the Iran-Iraq war, the Gulf war, and then the um, the US bombing, and then the, the sanctions, and then Saddam's oppression himself, and then you have the 2003 invasion of Iraq, and then the civil war, and then the Arab Spring, and then ISIS, and then blah blah blah, and everything is just so chaotic in that country. Yet those people, by God, I have never met any people more warm and more friendlier in my entire existence, in my life. Those people will show you love and they will show you the same love that a parent will have for the child. Even though I have no idea who this geezer is, they will show you that level of respect and that level of trust and that level of care really. And that is something that you can only experience when you travel. And that is something that I, I'm deeply in debt to God for giving me the experience and for giving me the opportunity to travel to that to them countries. Of course, Iraq is just one example. I've been to Bosnia and Kosovo, Prague, Denmark, Berlin. Um, more countries are, come, are to come. Um, I'm not going to tell you where, but uh, I'm planning something um, soon. Uh, not soon. I mean, I'm in my final year of university, so I do got to get that out of the way. But at the end of the day, um, traveling at a young age, you know, I, I traveled Iraq. Can you imagine this? And I still look back on this and I think, how is that possible? How how have I done that? And then, then I realized, oh, it's only through the help of God. But I traveled to Iraq at the age of 19, on my own, solo backpacking the whole country. And it wasn't just, I didn't just go there. I made a fully fledged documentary. When you see the documentary that I produce, you will that it will speak for itself of how much work and effort I put into it. There's nothing I'm more passionate about than sharing the history of a place so when i talk about my documentaries what i love to do with my documentaries is combine the history and the real life the in-person on the ground experiences interviews with people not interviews like boring interviews but look, having conversations with people dialogue um looking at the at the, at the monuments and stuff um uh, that have that are telling of, of what happened in that in that particular country. So if you go to Bosnia, you'll always be reminded of the war with the bullet holes in every single, almost every single wall in in Sarajevo, the capital city of Bosnia, is filled with bullet holes. And I and I'm making a documentary now to explain the the impacts of the Bosnian war, to explain the desperate nature of it, and to explain the the brutality and the barbary that was witnessed in that war. Uh, and to show the the current day and, and what it looks like today. And that's what I'm, I'm really passionate about, is showing that history is not just a subject for the books or for the textbooks and the, the readings or the readers, sorry. Uh, it's uh, it's a subject for people who love traveling. It's, it's a subject for people who love seeing things in the current day. And you can only do that with some certain topics and eras in history. Um, that is why I'm a modern historian. I love um, studying history history. Um, uh, in the 20th century but anyway i think i'm rambling on a little bit too much um but i have created a second channel this is where i'm getting to uh in regards to me quitting am i quitting kind of kind of not but um i've made a second channel secret channel by the way i'm not going to tell you what it is and what it's called but i will tell you when it is um when it picks up when and when uh, i'll get you know when it when it takes off essentially um right now it is getting a lot of views um not thousands but hundreds of views even though i only have like 20 subscribers or something on the, on the second channel so i'm looking forward to that and the reason why i've started from scratch and i've uploaded most of the stuff that i have on my channel here um but i've just rebranded it in a really cool manner by the way i really i'm really really passionate about this this new channel the, the idea of it all if you know you know but if you don't i guess you'll have to wait until that one day gets um shoots off but um uh, the reason why I've started a new channel is because on this channel, as many know, I used to upload COD videos and gaming videos, so the algorithm believes that my channel is a gaming channel. So whenever I upload these documentaries, they don't really get recommended and I really have to push to get them videos out there. I will have to do everything, like spam it everywhere, I have to you know, get in contact with other YouTubers and see if they can help promote my videos and stuff like that, which some do, some don't. Um, so yeah, that I guess that's the thing. Um, so I just realized, you know what, I'll just start from scratch and grow it organically. Um, and yeah, also this past year I've also been making maps for Yohom. Now unfortunately I think I'm slowly um, 
waning off that now unfortunately because of uh, university and other commitments but that's also been a great experience i've really fine-tuned my documentary production making uh, and i'm sure you've all seen the the newest documentary that i've done um the the war mosques the war-torn mosques sorry and uh, i do hope you have have um you know watch that because that is um like a showpiece a showcase of what's to come and the level of production quality etc um and i have um fine-tuned i work in that field now i work in the field of history film production so i guess now i'm slowly starting to refine my skills and it's really good it's, it's amazing to watch back my old videos and see the improvements that i've made and yeah i mean it's good it's great so last year i predicted that i'll get a hundred a thousand two one wait for if i can't even count two thousand two hundred subscribers last year i predicted and guess what we have two thousand two hundred subscribers so we've actually gained 200 subscribers this year which is actually still quite good so yeah next year i hope that i will maybe possibly get 1300 subscribers maybe that's that's the goal for next year and my message to my future self is um keep going you remember that Whatever you do is not because of you, uh, it's not because of your skills or not because of anything, it's because God has wanted you to do it. And if God does no longer want you to do it, then you won't do it anymore. You've got to remember the, the, the everything that you own, everything about you is owned by God. Your happiness is owned by God. Your success is owned by God. One day you can lose, one day you can win. One day you can win and then one day you can lose. It's It's all dependent on God. It's not dependent on you or the work you do or the effort that you put in. Of course, that is an indicator. That God will help you if you put your effort in, but if you don't, then obviously God's not going to help you. But at the end of the day, it all comes down to God. Even if you put every ounce of your blood, sweat, and tears into a project and it gets nothing, then that's what God wants it to be. So you got to remember that success, your happiness, your body, your your riches, your wealth, your house, everything about you, Harris, is not yours, and it's it belongs to God. So remember that. Remember that at any moment, God can take that away from you. So. And um, yeah, I guess that's my quick little philosophical message for my future self. Hope things are doing good in the year 2024. I hope we have not descended into absolute nuclear annihilation. Although that would be pretty funny. <laughs> that would be pretty nice. And we'll just restart from scratch. No TikTok, no Instagram, nothing, nothing. It's just, just flipping return to monkey stone age. Anyway, as always... Uh, I'll keep uploading on these on, on this on this channel. I'll always upload the newest documentary here, but I'll also upload it onto the new channel. But anyway, with all that silliness out of the way, love chatting with you. And no one's going to watch this for 30 minutes. Long live the tomatoes. See ya soon, soon, very soon. Maybe I don't know. Bye.